Okay, so next part of our Fusion 360 tutorial is I'm going to show you how to create a part like this. Okay, and I want you guys to walk through step by step and create an identical part. So this is just a little bracket here that's in this L shape. It's got these two holes here pretty big fillet, so a rounded corner here, and then these two holes, and we're rounded into kind of a half circle there at the top, okay? So I'm going to open up a new design, okay, so I want you guys to follow along and create an identical part, okay? So first things first, we're going to open up a sketch. Okay, and I'm going to draw on this plane here because I am going to draw this side of my profile, of my part. So I'm going to draw this profile here, this L shape. So I'm going to draw it on this plane here. Okay, so the way you go about to draw this L shape is just draw a bunch of random lines in an L shape. So I'll select L on my keyboard for line, or I can click on this button here, or I can click on sketch and choose line there, okay? And I'm going to start at my center point, just because, and I'm going to draw a line going outwards, click, a line going up, click, a line going back left, click, up, back to the left and I'm going to line up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, before I click, I'm going to hover my mouse over that original point so that this point ends up right above it and it snaps right to it and then close off my shape. Notice now my shape is blue. It is not black because I haven't dimensioned any of it. So I'm going to hit D on my keyboard to dimension. I am going to make this side here I'm actually going to do that, drew pretty small. I'm going to actually do it at, say, 30 millimeters. Okay, and I'll just zoom out, pan over. Okay, hit escape to go back to the dimension tool and dimension this also to be 30. So I'm creating my L shape. Zoom out again and pan down. And I'm going to create this little top here to be three millimeters and this also to be three millimeters. Okay, notice how my part turned black. I have fully constrained this part. Notice how these constraints automatically come in. Remember I showed you these constraints in the last video here. Okay, so Notice that when I drew this, it automatically did these perpendicular constraints. Okay, that was this constraint right here. That means that these corners are always going to stay at 90 degrees no matter what I do to move my part or change the dimensions or shape of my part. These two lines, as long as that constraint is there, will stay at 90 degrees. Okay, if I wanted to delete that constraint, I can right click it and hit delete. But in this case, I want to keep it. So my, my side profile is done. I'm going to hit E for extrude, or I can use in the create menu and choose the extrude tool. But I'm going to hit D E and I'll just take a look at a 3D view. So I click on my home button here and I'm going to extrude this out. 30 millimeters as well. Okay, and hit OK or press Enter. Okay, all right, so I've got kind of the base shape down now. Now, all I need to do is create my holes here, my holes here, my rounded edges, my rounded edges here, and then my big fillet right in the middle there. Okay, but let's start with the holes here and here. Okay, so I'm going to create a new sketch and create holes here. So I'm going to go to new sketch. 
And instead of choosing one of these planes, I am going to choose this face so that I create a sketch on that face. Now, if I go back to here, you can see that these two holes are symmetrical from either edge. Okay, um, so I'm going to come back here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this construction tool icon and create construction lines so I can kind of find my middle. So I click on that and now I press L on my keyboard for line and I find my midpoint here, click, down to here, straight down, click. And then I'll find my midpoint here. There it is, it snaps with that triangle, indicating that's the midpoint, and there. Okay, now I'm going to unclick construction tool because if I stay clicked in it, all right, if I stay, if that stays chosen, when I create my circle, it's not, it's just going to create a construction um, temporary circle, not something that is part of the actual part. So I've got to uncheck it. Okay, it goes away. Now I can press C for circle or choose circle from my sketch menu here. And I'm going to draw a circle somewhere along this line. Okay. And let's do it five millimeters. Okay. Now, the reason why it's blue, it knows to be on this line, but it doesn't know how far to be off of this edge. So it knows how far to be off of this edge here, okay, because it's right in the middle. I, I placed it on this line. But how far is it from this edge? So let's give it that uh, dimension. So press D on your keyboard. Okay, and let's make it, uh, let's see here, let's go with seven millimeters, sure. Okay, now, I no longer need, um, I actually, I pressed escape there to get out of my dimension tool. I no longer need this, this line here, but I'll delete it in a second. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to mirror this on the other side, okay? So I'm going to choose, under my sketch menu, the mirror tool. Actually, let's do something a little different this time. Okay, here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to create what's called a counter bowl, counter bore hole. So I'm going to create a bigger circle outside of this smaller circle. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually choose my offset tool, offset tool, okay? Just like in SketchUp, I can now select what I want to offset. So I wanna offset my circle and now choose how much I want to offset it. Let's go with one millimeter, I'm good with that. So just press enter on your keyboard. Okay, now I'm gonna mirror both of these circles. Okay, so I kinda of changed it up from this drawing a little bit. Why not? So let's go to sketch. Let's mirror it on the other side. So select the object or objects. I'm going to select both circles. Okay. Now I'm going to switch and click on select mirror line. This middle line here, this construction line will be my mirror line. And there it is. It will pop up. Press OK. And notice everything is in black, ready to go. I don't need to give any additional dimensions here because everything is already fully constrained. Okay. All right. So let's extrude this. So now I can either extrude from the create menu or press E on my keyboard. Okay. Now I am going to go just a little bit down from this, see this bigger feature right here in between the circles, okay? I'm gonna go, so I'm gonna select those first. And instead of going outwards, I'm gonna cut into my shape and I'm going to cut into my shape. Now I know I'm three millimeters thick here. So I'm just gonna go half of that. I'll go one, eh, maybe I'll just go one millimeter in. Okay, 
So it's going to cut Sorry, I put one, it should be negative one. Okay. So negative one millimeter in, because I'm going into my part, it should be negative. Okay, so be careful there. Press okay. All right, so it did exactly what I wanted it to do. Now, let's press E again. Okay. And this time let's create the holes. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to choose that as well. Change the direction. I'm going to say cut through all. Okay. The whole three millimeters. And press OK. And so this here, guys, last, last video I showed you guys a counter sinkhole. This is a counter bore. Okay. So the other one kind of sunk on an angle. And this one you can see is just straight down and then there's this step here and then the actual hole itself okay so good let's now take these two features okay both of these and let's mirror it on the other side here okay so i first need to establish my mirror plane or my mirror line and because it's already in in 3D here, it's more than just a line. I need to actually establish a whole mirror plane. So I'm gonna create a plane. I'm gonna create it at a 45 degree angle from this line, okay? So I'm gonna to go to construct like I showed you in the last video. I'm gonna create a plane at an angle. It's, telling, it's asking me which line. Here it is right there. I'm going to click on that and now turn this until I'm at negative 45, okay, and press OK. Now I'm going to mirror these across this plane and they're going to show up in the exact same position on this face, okay, the exact same position is here. So let's go instead of mirror in the sketch menu, notice how it is grayed out it's because I'm already in 3D, okay? I'm not in a 2D sketch. So I'm in 3D, so I need to go to the Create menu and choose Mirror in the Create menu. Okay, so it's asking me now, what do I want to mirror? Okay, so I wanna mirror this feature and that feature, this and that. And where do I want to mirror it across? Which plane? Select this plane. Press OK. One sec, let's see if we can fix that here. So let's go here, 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 here. Let's try that again. It's not choosing my hole there. There you go. My bad. Okay, I wasn't choosing that hole as well. So now I have six features selected and now choose my mirror plane. And that should work. There you go. Okay. Good, now notice how this plane now is kind of in our way, right? It's kind of just showing there, we can turn that off. So I created a construction, in construct I chose plane at an angle. Well, in my construction folder here, let's choose the drop down menu, and I can just uncheck this little light bulb or turn off the light bulb and it will be gone. It's still there, but I can turn it I can toggle it on and off, okay? All right, so almost done. All we need to do now is round my edges here, 
here and here, so those four there, and then put my fillet in. Let's start with these edges. Watch how easy it is. Let's just go, we want to create fillets here, so rounded edges or fillets, and that is in the Modify menu under Fillet. Okay. So we can play around with different values for the fillet, but first let's select this corner, that, that, and that. Okay. Now, if I choose, now I know that I'm 30 millimeters across. If I choose this radius or this fillet, this, this radius to be 15 millimeters, guess what? 15 and then another 15 there creates 30. Oops, accidentally. Sorry guys, I accidentally pressed uh, my mouse button there. So let's go back to modify fillet and choose those four edges. If I choose 15 millimeters, it's actually gonna create a perfect circle. Okay, perfect half circle anyways. I can play around with that value. Maybe I don't wanna do it that big. Maybe I just wanna do it at 10, okay? 10 would look something like that. And I mean, you can play with whatever values that you want, okay? I'll keep it at 10 this time and press okay. One last fillet that I need to do, and it's for this line right there. The reason why you would put a fillet here, guys, I mean, if this is a bracket that's hanging on a wall of some sort, where this part will likely fail, if something's hanging from this portion here, will be from this right here, okay? That's where it would crack or fail. So we need to strengthen this part. And the way we're gonna strengthen it is we are going to place a fillet, okay? Choose what we want to put the fillet on. And let's play around with some values here. Let's go with five millimeters. Okay, we can probably go even more than that to strengthen it even more. How about seven millimeters? Okay, I like the seven. Click OK. And there you have it. We made it a little bit different than what I showed you at the beginning here, but that's okay. All right, um, I want you guys to create this part identically. Okay, um, so go ahead and you have some time now to complete that.